Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the equivalent capacitance of individual capacitive elements connected in series. Essentially I'm going to prove this equation right here. So we'll start with KVL. You can find the explanation of KVL in another video with resistors which is is going to be in the description box below. In this case we say that the sum of the voltage drop of each individual element is going to be the same as the sum of the voltage of all the sources that we have. Again we have only one source. So U is equal to U1 plus U2 plus UN. Now for capacitors we have a different relationship than Ohm's law which is something like this the voltage of each capacitor is going to be equal with its charge that has stored in it over its capacitance. And so, if we substitute into this one, we are left that the Q of all the circuits is going to be over the equivalent resistance, of course. It's going to be equal with Q1 over C1 plus Q2 over C2 plus Qn over Cn. Now, in the same context as resistors in series, we have the same properties of the, of the charge as with the current. As Q is proportional to the current, in this case, in one branch, in one single branch, we have that all the capacitors have the same charge. So, Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Qn equals Q. So again, we substitute that to this one and factorize at the same time. Q over C equivalent is equal to Q times 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over Cn. Q and Q is simplified and we are left with 1 over C equivalent is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over Cn. Now this relationship is contrary to the one we had when our elements were purely ohmic. If you remember, in that topology the equivalent resistance of the circuit was the sum of each individual element's resistances. In this case, the equivalent capacitance of capacitors in series is similar to the one when we had resistors connected in parallel instead. <laughs> 